Hi, today I'm going to show you a little bit about electrode placement where you have chronic low back pain. Uh, one of the things I want to tell you right off the bat, because with the Infrex Plus now, the unit itself has TENS and it has interferential. Always use interferential mode first. I'm just as a general rule, that's what you use on the Infrex Plus. Here's type of electrode you really don't want to use for chronic low back pain. You have an electrode that is, in this case, is one and three quarters by one and three quarters, meaning this is a pretty small area. If you look at this electrode, I'll pull it off, that's where all the electricity has to come out of, especially on interferential mode. That's not a, a large area. So your traditional two by two electrode for interferential mode is really not acceptable, especially for low back pain. What we suggest for low back pain is using an, a larger electrode. This type of electrode, not only is it, you can compare the size, you've got so much more stimulation area. But I would ask Elizabeth, I'd say, Elizabeth, where is your back hurting? Elizabeth would say, well, let's say it's all through this area. So I know if I was to actually touch, she'd say, yes, a little tender here, a little tender here, maybe a little tender here, a little tender here. All right, I want to go to the outside corner where this pain's coming from. I want to put the electrode away from the spine. We don't want electrodes near the spine. The reason is there's no muscle there. So that means there's nowhere for the electricity to go. So I would put it, this electrode on. Now I'm going to say the bottom, this top right area she's hurting. Now I'm going to go to the bottom left. I would take the other electrode. I would put it down here and out to where her pain is being felt. Put it there. Now, when I plug my unit in and I have my two cables, I'd plug one into here, boom, and I would plug the other one into here, boom. Now, because it's the same channel, I know electricity is coming out of one and going to the other. So all the nerves that are in this area are going to be affected. Not all the nerves, but the nerves we're after. Then I'm going to take my other two electrodes and I would put one top left. And I would take the other one, go to the area where she's feeling the pain, go to the bottom right. I'd put that electrode there. I'd plug in the cables. Now, when the Infrex Plus comes on, boom, boom. All of the area that she's feeling pain. Now, 8,000 plus times a second. That's a lot of time. But this is an example of what we call the crisscross, which is the most common way that people use them to get Results. When I finish, I'll put my electrodes back. And let me show you a couple more types of electrodes that were designed specifically for the back. And anytime you need help on electrodes, you can go to our website and see electrodes. But it's better just to call us and tell us what your situation is, and we'll do what we can to help you. This is very common, very popular. This is a butterfly electrode. And you will notice on the butterfly electrode, we have a large area for stimulation on the left and on the right. That's going to get to a lot of muscle. We have this middle area, which does not have stimulation spots, but that's going to go over the spine, which is we're not concerned. We don't want electrodes near the spine. But a lot of people will put this electrode on, and it's sufficient for what they need. Now, it is not uncommon for... A patient starting off with back pain to eventually develop a sciatica pain. That is not uncommon. And this generally is because the patient guards against the pain here. They change their posturing. They create additional stress. And this develops into secondary. When that happens, we may use an electrode like this. We may put another electrode down here. So we're combating the secondary pain. And then we're working toward getting rid of the secondary pain, irradiating sciatica, and moving to the primary Another electrode that's real popular is these are called strip. Now, you can't see it. Yeah, I'll open it up for you. There's a lot of stimulation surface area on this, and it's real long and angular. Sometimes we actually can do it this way on a patient that has a great deal of pain. Most of the time it's done in this manner, or we can actually cut it and have long strip electrodes. Bottom line is there are plenty of things that we do and can do with electrode placement for low back pain that will help you. And 
my wife the model, the physical therapist, Elizabeth, do you have anything to say about the demonstration before we finish? Just that if you're going to continue to use me as a model, I'd like you to pay for a personal trainer. Oh, okay. Thanks. See you later. <laughs>